Hey guys, this is Bharat from Team RK Tutors, and in this video, I'll walk you through a smart way to render a ground floor plan or a site plan in Photoshop, and all the tips and tricks you need to know about for a quality render. So let's begin. So this is the Photoshop file I'll be working on for this tutorial, and in this file, I have these two folders. One is the format, another one is DWG drawing. In format, I have one layer that is basically some text and scale and the north sign I'll rather keep it off for some time and in this drawing folder I got several different layers that I have imported separately for example first layer is basically the shadow that I imported from SketchUp I'll turn it off for now then comes the text from the drawing layer the section lines on another layer and the arrows for the sections the drive through lines I'll turn it off and then this ramp and internal fixtures like tables or chairs I have a separate layer for them I'll turn it off and at last this landscape and the main drawing I'll keep the landscape and the drawing layers on so to begin let's select drive through and the road to do that I'll go to drawing folder and select this drawing layer and select the wand tool you can either go to this panel and click on the wand tool or you can use the shortcut W to go to the wand tool and select the road and also add the selection of drive through hold the shift key to add on the selections click on the where the drive through is now that we have this selected let's create a new layer first close this group click on create a new layer and having this layer selected go to fill command or use the shortcut shift plus backspace to go to fill and I'll fill it with the white color press ok and let's rename this layer I'll call it road now we can apply a pattern to this layer or basically a texture of road so let's go ahead and make a pattern in this folder I have this road bitmap Let's open this in Photoshop and click on add it and define pattern. I'll call it road underscore one and press OK. Now go back to the project file, go to the layer options, click on pattern overlay and here we have this pattern we just made. I'll keep it scaled to 100. It does look good enough. And what I'll do is I'll go to drawing folder and enable this drive through line layer. So this is something that you can also import from AutoCAD and it adds very professional look to the render. Now we can go ahead and start working on the landscape. So in this landscape layer I have these rectangular patches and let's select them by using the want tool. Now to select them first let's turn this drawing layer off. I'll also turn the road layer off and now select everything but the patches so we can reverse the selection later. Now to reverse this selection we can use Ctrl plus Shift plus I for a shortcut and we still have to deselect this part. To do that hold the Alt key and try to deselect this. Moving to the rectangle selection tool with the shortcut M, we can deselect these walls. And to deselect this wall, we can use polygon selection tool. So holding the Alt key, make the selection of this wall. Now that we have made this selection, there's still some parts that we have to refine. So go to the Want tool and hold the Alt key to deselect this part. This is basically the water body. 
and some patches here. and also deselect this part and I'll also make some random selections from these rectangles Okay, now that we are done with this selection, let's make a layer for this landscape. Click on create a new layer option. I'll name this layer grass and put it into a folder. Let's rename this green. And onto this grass layer, we go to the fill command using the shortcut shift plus backspace. And I'll fill it with white color. Press OK. Now to apply a texture on this, first let's define a pattern. So I'll be using this grass image. Let's open this with Photoshop. And in this image, go to edit. Click on define pattern. I'll call it grass underscore one. And press OK to define it as pattern. Go back to the drawing. And now let's go to the layer options by double clicking on this layer. And pattern overlay. And here we can find that exact pattern we just made. Let's zoom in and see how it looks. Let's adjust its scale. I'll keep it to 120. And press Ctrl plus D to deselect everything. And now let's turn the drawing layer on. And now select the left out part in this landscape using the wand tool. Now you see in this selection, the other part of the drawing is also getting selected because it's all connected in this landscape layer. So what I'll do is I'll merge these two layers, landscape and the drawing, right click and merge layers. Let's deselect everything and now when I make the selection using a wand tool, I'm only left with this selection. Let's go ahead and also make the selection for these patches. Having made this selection and the leftovers, we can go to this green folder and make another layer in this. I'll call this green and use the shortcut shift plus backspace to fill and this time I'll use a color that is sort of green or light green and press OK to apply and Control plus D to deselect everything. So now we have this very mesmerizing feel of these pixels of grass around the ground floor or into this yard and let's also go into this layer of grass and decrease its opacity so it looks better now and also turn on the rot layer and now we can start working on the pool this space around the pool I'll color it with the green so go to drawing landscape select this part and come back to this green layer and hit the shortcut shift plus backspace to fill and I'll be filling in this green color press OK to apply and Control plus D to deselect everything and now make selection for this water body let's so go to this layer I'll rename this to drawing DWG since we merged all those layers landscape and the drawing and use the wand tool to select this water body 
and make a layer I'll call this pool and let's add it to a folder let's call this pool as well now for the pool I'm going to be using two different textures what is basically this water tiles or basically the tiles under the pool and second one is the water now let's go ahead and open this file in Photoshop go to edit and click on define pattern I'll call this water tiles and press ok let's also open the other picture define it as pattern as well I'll call this water underscore one and press ok to apply and let's close these two pictures having the selection made I'll make another layer and let's call it pool tiles and move it under the pool and onto this layer hit the shortcut shift plus backspace and fill a color to this I'll fill this with white press ok now go to the options for this layer pattern overlay and here we can apply this tiles texture to this selection and I'll decrease its scale set to 100 and increase the opacity to 100 and press ok to apply now having this selection still made go to the pool layer and go to fill command fill the white color press ok and apply with the water texture we made go to pattern overlay and press ok so here what I'll do is I'll decrease its opacity so we can also see the tiles underneath this layer let's keep it to 60% now deselect from this selection now to make it look a little more realistic go to the options for this layer and on the pattern overlay decrease its opacity to 30 and increase the layer opacity from here you see we actually achieve a great effect with these two layers for this water body now let's go ahead and select the walls from the drawing go into the drawing folder select the drawing file and select all these walls I'll also be selecting the columns from the drawing So after the selection of these walls and the columns is done, let's make a new layer. I'll call it walls and go to fill command, use the shortcut shift plus backspace and fill it with white color and press OK. So next I'll go to the options for this layer and go to color overlay. Here I'm applying a black color to these walls and also add the shadow effect to this layer so click on drop shadow so I'll increase the distance and the spread and also the size of it you can change the angle or the direction as well but I'll go with the same and press ok and use the shortcut ctrl plus D to deselect now let's start adding colors or textures to these internal spaces so I'll go to drawing and enable the ramp layer from the drawing we can select this part where the ramp is and do the same for the ramps here and to select this I'll use the rectangular selection tool hold the shift key to add on the selection and same on the other side having the ramp selected let's make a new layer I'll call these ramps and let's fill them with the gray color and 
control plus D to deselect everything. Now we've got a wall here. So go to drawing. Select this wall using the wand tool. And the wall here. And go back to the walls layer and hit the shortcut for fill and add the white color on this press ok and use ctrl plus d to deselect everything now select this porch area from the drawing if i just go to drawing and use the wand tool to select this and deselect some part of it and go ahead to make a new layer I'll call this porch and use the shortcut fill and press ok to apply let's also turn on the text layer and go to drawing and let's select the part of this gallery let's also select this office and shops but from here deselect this kitchen area and also deselect this toilet area from here and go ahead and make a new layer for this I'll call it retail and gallery go to the fill command and fill it with a color and press ok to apply and control plus D to deselect everything. Let's go back to the drawing layer and select these service areas and the lifts. For this let's make a rectangular selection And use the wand tool to select these areas under the lift. And finish it with selecting this staircase. So having this selected, let's make a new layer and call it lifts go to the fill command and I'll fill it with grey color and control plus D to deselect this and also move these layers under the wall and move the rot layer upward also now let's also select the areas under the toilet and the kitchen so go to drawing I use the rectangle selection tool to select this and create a new layer And go to the fill command using the shortcut shift plus backspace and press ok to apply and control plus d to deselect everything so in here let's also crack this part where the wall is so go to drawing and select this part of the wall go back to the walls layer and hit the shortcut for fill 
and apply a white color and press OK and deselect with Ctrl plus D. And I'll also refine this forged part. Go to drawing. Select this part. Go back to the porch layer. Hit the shortcut for fill and fill this same color. Press OK. And now select the part for this security check. Go back to the drawing and select this using the wand tool. And create a new layer for this. Let's call it security check. And with the shortcut fill, let's fill a color. And press OK to apply. For this corridor and this entrance foyer, I'll use one single color. So go back to the drawing to select this. And from this selection, let's remove the part from the stairs. I'll use rectangular selection tool and press Alt to deselect this. And make another layer for this selection. Click on create a new layer. Let's call it corridor. And go to fill command using the shortcut shift plus backspace. And press OK to apply. And control plus D to deselect this. And at last, let's add a color to this ramp here. Or I'll actually go with the gradient. For this, let's make a new layer. And I'll basically make a rectangular selection here for this part. Go to fill command and fill it with white color. And double click on this layer to go to the layer options. Go to gradient. And first change the angle. Keep it to 180 so that we have the darker side ending up on this edge. Go to gradient. And change this color. I'll keep it to 90. And press OK to apply and control plus D to deselect this and now let's select this boundary first what I'll do is basically pick this color of this layer that was imported from AutoCAD so go to the color pick option that's alright press OK now go to drawing and select the wall And add this selection of the wall here. Create a new layer for this. Let's call it boundary. And go to the color fill option. And go on to pick this color. And press OK to apply. Next also apply a green color to this part here. So go to the drawing layer. And select this part with the wand. Go back to this layer green and use the shortcut shift plus backspace to go to fill and pick this color press ok to apply and control plus D to deselect this. Ok now we are done with the most part of this rendering process now let's add some trees. So in this file I have this tree that was basically a PNG file and I added a effect to this a drop shadow effect. So this is basically the effect. Let's drop this to the project file. And adjust its scale. Press Ctrl plus T. Okay, this is good. Press apply. And let's add this tree layer to a group. Call it trees. And now we can make multiple copies of them on this side. But first I'll adjust the opacity for this layer. I'll keep it to 50. 
and start by adding some trees on this edge of the wall. Just use the Alt key and drag to make multiple copies of this layer. And from here, I'll change its scale. So that way we have some variation between the size of these trees around the site and some even smaller trees around here. And put some trees at the front. And make sure you copy trees at different distances so it looks more natural. Okay, and at last close this tree layer and turn every other layer on and go to drawing layer and turn the interior fixture layer on. Now what I want to do is basically apply a material to this fixture. I'll make the selection using the wand tool outside these fixtures and reverse this selection using the control shift and I and create a new layer. Let's call it fixture underscore 2 and go to fill command and fill a white color to this selection. Press OK. Move this under the fixture layer. So that way we have all these fixtures in white. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect everything. And also add some shadow to this. So go to layer options and click on drop shadow. Let's decrease the spread of this and also the size. So now we have some depth into these fixtures. And press OK to apply. Now let's also turn the other layers on in this drawing. For example the arrow and the section lines. And the shadow. Now this shadow you can actually import from a SketchUp model. I'll increase this opacity to maybe 30. So we can actually see this shadow around this building. And also turn on these layers under the format folder. In this we have this scale for the drawing and the north sign. So this is one way to render site plan in Photoshop in relatively lesser time. You can check out more Photoshop tutorials from our channel. So if you like this tutorial make sure you click on the like button, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for all the latest updates.